Alright guys, um be showing you how I make my match crackers. I have um some new ones that I've been making. Uh, I'll just get one out to show you. Alright. Keep them all in my little box right here. Okay, these are what they look like. They just have different compositions of match head on them. Um, so yeah, they're quarter inch inside diameter. And I have some new tooling that I came up with. Um, first, what you're gonna need is, well, of course, paper. I have a strip here about four inches wide, a uh, quarter inch dowel. I have some match egg composition here from our lot of ground up matches and what I'm going to do, I should have done this in advance, but I'm going to put a little bit of alcohol and water mixed together on it. Uh -oh. Let me take this off camera. Alright, so just let that set and turn into a little like slurry and that should be ready by the time we get to that part so then what you're going to want to do you're going to want to have glue I'm using Elmer's wood glue for like dark and hard woods <laughs> that's what she said um, so I'll take a little bit of this out. Not very prepared for this video. But... Alright, all that you're going to need is just a little bit. <laughs> Hold on guys, I'll be right back. I have to grab something. All right, just making sure I had bentonite clay. All right, so you're just gonna need a little bit. Um, also, really quick tip: little ketchup cups that you get at like uh, McDonald's or Burger King or Wendy's or whatever you go to. Little ketchup cups, great for pyrotechnics. Um, I even use these as little lift cups for my uh, one and three quarters inch shells. They work very well and very handy. So you can see, I stock up every time I go there. Just grab a handful and shove them in my pocket. Um, so, yes, they are very handy to have around. Alright, so what we're going to want to do, you're going to take your dowel. And you're going to want to roll this paper around the dowel as tight as you possibly, well not as tight as you possibly can, but it's, so it's a snug fit. This will help tighten it when you roll it in between your hands. Alright, so there you have your tube. Um, it has about a 1 16th inch wall. Alright, so we're just going to glue this flap right here down. Just get a little, finger, uh, little glue on your finger. And you just run it along. Spread it out. And roll it up. Alright, so there is your tube. Um, and also, what you're going to do is you're going to want to trim this up. 
Um, I have a razor blade right here. I need to get a new one. This broke out of one of the old cheap razors, like the little plastic ones. But I don't know if you can see it well, well on camera. There's a little lip right here, like a little part where the cone is sticking out of the tube. It's uneven. So what I'm just going to do, I'm actually going to measure this first. You're going to want to have it about uh, two and a half inches long, just about. Um, if not a little more, it will leave you for or allow you to have a longer delay which is preferred with these since they are dangerous just gonna measure this, make a little dot alright, that's all that you need it's a little dot right there alright, so what you're gonna do just take your blade place it on the dot and roll it back and forth in straight as a line as in as straight as a line as possible. Ah. All right, so just like that, and then you just slide off the top. There you have your casing. All right, so now once you have this, you're gonna take. Well, you're gonna want to make these first. <laughs> take a quarter inch dowel and cut about. Uh, five or six inches. Um, and you're gonna want to cut about a three inch piece and about a two to two and a half inch piece or three inches. Um, so if you cut six, just cut it in half, and then drill two holes in each side in the middle. Well, as best as you can in the middle. And then take masking tape, uh, three quarter inch masking tape, and place it at the top of the longer section um, with about one quarter to one eighth inch space at the top. So like that, with the hole facing, with the hole on the longest side of the tape, like on the longest side of the dowel. Alright, so what you're going to want to do... You're going to want to insert this into the tube. And then you're going to take um, a piece of fuse. The best kind to use for this is 1 16th inch Visco right here. I order strips of it. They come in a little bag from PyroDirect.com. They have great products, I think. Um, and I'll post another video of all the stuff I got from them. But um, you're going to want to cut about an inch and a half of it and insert that. And what you're going to want to do when, you, when you're done, insert it into the hole in the dowel and then cut it so it's flush with the top of the tube. Alright, so now what we're going to uh, set that down. Now what we're going to want to do. So you're going to take your bentonite clay, very finely powdered bentonite clay. Let me get my scoop. Alright, just a little scoop that I use for measuring. It's a uh, chapstick cap glued onto a skewer that I split so it has a flat edge. Um... You're going to want to take about an even spoonful of that. Oh. And I'll just use one of these cups coming in handy again. Uh, to catch anything that falls out. And just tap it to even it out. Alright, so you're going to add a little increment. So you can see I have right there. And you're going to take your dowel and you're going to put the fuse in the other hole on this dowel. And then what you're going to want to do is I use a little um, tack hammer right here and tap that down. Not that much so um, the other the 
uh, other amount of clay has something to, I guess, like, sort of adhere to. Um, so, add your clay again. Level it out. And repeat this process until, if you can see that you're about that far from the top. This I haven't rammed yet, so I'm going to keep on doing that until I get the right amount. You're going to want to have about a half an inch plug. And keep try and keep this as straight as possible. So this will not bend out from the pressure. Alright, I'm almost there. Probably a little bit more clay. About a quarter of an inch from the top. Or, yeah, about a quarter of an inch. All right, this should be my last increment of bentonite. All right, and there you go. You can see there is a just a little, little bit of the fuse sticking out of the top and take out this tube tap it on the tabletop so there is no loose powder and that is the delay part of your match cracker you can see the fuse inside there's probably about a half an inch of it sticking out of the clay plug that I just rammed and that clay plug is about from here to here. So a good half an inch or three quarters of an inch clay plug. And that will ensure a very, very safe delay. These that I rammed, the plug is only about a quarter of an inch. So there's only like a four second delay, which is extremely unsafe. Um, but this should have a good six or seven to eight second delay. Um... I still urge you, please do not hold these in your hands. Um, as soon as you strike them, please throw them. I um, don't want to see anybody getting hurt with these, um, especially this kind, because they're larger, and I'm going to be using flash powder in these, uh, so they will be more powerful. All right, so with that part out of the way, just want to clean up your workstation a little bit. All right. Set that aside. We're going to need more bentonite clay. So I might as well just take out a few scoops of it prior. All right. So just take a few scoops out of your bentonite clay. Just say one more for the bottom plug that we're going to have to ram. Alright, that's all you need. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we are going to take our flash powder. Um, I don't have any black powder on hand. I don't feel like getting it out of the gun cabinet right now. Um, but I'm using flash powder that I have added a little bit of titanium powder, which I will add a little pinch more, just for good luck. Alright, there you go. This is about a half of a gram to three quarters of a gram. So we're just going to empty that into our tube. Alright, so once it is loaded into the tube, you're going to want to take a piece of paper, craft paper. I have really thin craft paper that I bought. Wad it up until you have a good little piece. And actually a good thing to do first would be to put it in that part of the tube that you cut off. Hopefully that part that you cut off is a little lengthy. 
and just take one of your rammers and make a plug. So you come out with like something like this. And then just push that into the tube that you have your match cracker. Like that you're using for your match cracker. Alright. So push it mm, a little bit farther than that. Uh, I'd say, what's that, like three-eighths of an inch, something like that, into the tube. And then just take your bentonite clay. And for this, you are not going to want to ram it that hard um, as to keep the plug from getting pushed down farther. Just tap it a little bit. Um, once you get into the final increments, you can ram it a little bit harder, but only to keep it from falling, from the clay falling out. Alright, this is probably the last increment. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so that should be a good half an inch or so plug, probably from here to about here. Alright, and then what you want to do, this is the last step. Uh, we have had our match heads prepared. And we are just going to take this, scoop up a little bit, and start applying it to the top of this. What you're going to first want to do is to apply it so it's inside of the lip of the tube and then just take it and make like almost like a dome over the top of it and this tends to work the best you can use your fingers to model it a little, little bit try and move pieces of wood that got caught in there All right, just add a little bit more. Oh. Sometimes gets a little messy. Alright, and that is your finished match cracker. Um, should have, like I said, 6 to 8 second delay. Um, please follow this tutorial correctly. Um, I will do a test of this. Probably not this exact one. Uh, probably a black powder one. But, um, might actually do this one. Uh, so... Yeah, please watch out for my other video, and please be safe. Uh, that is the main concern about this, um, and be responsible with these. So, there you go.